two months ago, I had put the spotlight on this application that had the potential to be better than Super AGI as it had the ability to build, deploy, and manage large language model powered autonomous agents quite efficiently and effectively. Fast forward to today, it has even gotten better. Introducing once again, Super Agent, the open source framework for building AI assistants. Now, for the people who do not know, Super Agent is an open source agent framework that enables any user or developer to integrate production ready AI autonomous agents into any sort of application that you want or any open API endpoint. Now, you're able to do this in a matter of minutes, which is quite remarkable. Two months ago, this app was quite new and it had a lot of bug fixes that weren't solved at the current moment, as well as having a lot of limitations of features. Now, we're able to see that it has a refined UI with the versatility of solid features so that you're able to deploy and customize your own autonomous AI agents. Just take a look at this example where the developers of SuperAgent were able to add vision to super agent by adding dolly e support and in this case they were able to add this diffusion assistant within their chatbots that was created with super agent this basically allows their chatbots to have vision through super agent because of the customizable features that are available throughout super agent so that you're able to deploy these types of chatbots within different workflows as well as different api endpoints Throughout today's video, we're going to be delving a little bit deeper into uncovering the true potential of Super Agent by showcasing the usability of it, making your own AI agents, talking a little bit more about the features, how to install it locally, as well as showcasing how you can use the cloud platform. Now, this is just a gist of what we'll be covering on Super Agent and throughout today's video. So definitely stay tuned throughout the end of this video as we're going to be taking a deeper look as to what you can do with Super Agent as well as how this will be quite beneficial for you. So with that thought, let's get right into the video. Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the world of AI. As we mentioned at the start, Super Agent is an innovative AI assistant framework, and it's designed to basically enhance your application as it allows you to incorporate different types of autonomous AI assistants that are powered by different types of large language models that are associated within Super Agent. So what this does is that it empowers you as a user or a developer to create these custom AI agents, which are basically very unique in knowledge brand identity and have the ability to integrate external plugins apis seamlessly so this is something that we're going to take a look at throughout today's video but in the next step of the video we're going to talk a little bit more about some of the cool features about super agent if you would like to access our private discord in which you can get subscription for free for various different types of AI agents, AI tools, and so much more, definitely take a look at this with the link in the description below. We're also posting a lot of different types of content, news, in which you're able to collaborate, get some networking opportunities. So I highly recommend that you check this out as it's something that could really change your life in a different way. Now, if you guys haven't followed World of AI on Twitter, I highly recommend that you do so, so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, make sure you subscribe, turn notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos, as there's a lot of content, a lot of value that you will definitely benefit from. So with that thought, let's get right back into the video. Now, one of the great things about this application is its versatility, as well as its customization. Super Agent is able to provide this as you're able to highly customize different types of environments as you're able to connect different APIs, which you can see off their documentation. You have various different tools that could be incorporated to create different agents. Uh, we can see here they have a good breakdown as well as a good analysis as to what you can do with agents. You're able to list them, create them, delete them, add different LMs, and it gives you a good breakdown as to how you can do this within the code as well as within the agent of Super Agent. There's different LMs in which you can incorporate, create, as well as update, add different APIs, different data sources, various different types of tools, as well as different workflows. And they give a good breakdown as to how you can do this with the Super Agent API. Now, in terms of some of the features as well as the use cases, firstly, we'll start off with 
the different ranges of the use cases that are available with this you're able to employ super agent for question answering which you see over here and it can respond to the various different documents whether it's a single document or multiple different types of documents and have the agents chat with that type of document so it has context to the documents that you have uploaded now you're also able to do this by using lm fine tunes or vector storages which you're, which allows you to have a different range as well as a different environment to create these agents you have different chatbots that can be created within super agent with your own context you're able to develop different ai co-pilots as well as assistance for specific tasks whether it's for generating content whether it's for generating different code generation so you have a good flexibility in that term as well uh, in terms of automating complex workflows you're also able to do that within super agent and this is something that i'll also take a look at throughout this video now in terms of some of the features you gain access to the capabilities like memory for context awareness uh, you have streaming for real-time uh, communication as well as custom fine tuning to adapt to ai models to your specific needs we see that you're also able to have python and typescript sdks as this is used for software development kits for easy integration within different workflows you have a rest api for seamless communication with your application and the ability to also connect other apis for enhanced functionalities this gives you the flexibility to incorporate and customize different plugins within super agent to build highly customable customable as well as highly intelligent agents within super agent now super agent also provides the vectorization for effective data processing and this will support both the proprietary and open source lms so this offers api con concurrency and this will be able to handle multiple requests efficiently and effectively now this is very very new compared to the super agent that we saw two months ago it just shows that they've been developing this very very like intricately as well as providing the best resources to make this the best open source framework for building ai assistance now let's get to the next step of the video in showcasing you how to install this locally on your desktop now guys there's many different ways to access super agent you're obviously able to access it off the cloud which is the way we're going to be demonstrating and showcasing throughout this video but for now, I'm going to be showcasing how to download it locally on your desktop. You're also able to run it off of Replit. It's fairly easy, and they have a breakdown on this on the GitHub repo. So I'll definitely take a look at this if you guys haven't already, and if you want to use the Replit version. Now, you're also able to get started with the different types of libraries, such as Python, Note, TypeScript, as well as Swift. They say that if you're planning to integrate SuperAgent into your stack, you can do this by installing it with these different types of SDKs. But if you're going to run it locally, you need to first clone SuperAgent, which is easy as going into command prompt. It's fairly easy. You open this up, type in git clone, get the link for this repository, and that is by clicking on the green button at the top on GitHub, copy the link, scroll back down into this area and then go back onto command prompt paste the link make sure there's a space by the clone so i'm gonna do that real quick click enter and once this has finished cloning what you need to do next is go into the actual super agent file now this is by typing in cd and super agent right next to it so once this is done i'll be right back so once this has finished installing, you can easily just type in CD super agent, like we mentioned. Once that is done, you can go back onto the repo, copy this code over here, which is pip install super agent dash pi, paste it in it over here, click install, and this will start installing the requirements and unpacking the files that are needed to install super agent onto your local desktop. What you can do next is open it up onto a code editor. In my opinion, I just use Visual Studio Code. And then you can open it up and it'll be then prompted open on your local host and it'll look like this exactly. And that's easy as that as to how you can install it locally on your desktop. That was just a brief little example. If you have any errors, comment down in the description below and I can try my best to help you out.
Now, one thing to mention, if you're installing this locally, you need to plan to distribute the code. I mean, if you do plan to distribute the code, you need to keep the source code public. Both the API and the UI require a database in order to work. So you need to make sure that you set up a SAPA base as well as setting up a GitHub OPath in your UI. Now, there's also other things that you can do to run this locally on your desktop. So I highly recommend that you read through the GitHub repo and their documentation so that you can have this fully functional on your local host. But in the case of this video, we're going to be showcasing the cloud version. What you need to do is log, click on this login button, sign up with your email or your GitHub account. In my opinion, I just used a burner email to do this. Now, once you have done that, you'll be here on the language models page. You're able to enable whatever language model that you want to use. If you want to use the OpenAI one, you can just click on configure and put your API key over here. Now, if you go on to this button over here, you're able to play around with the different types of agents over here in which you can create new agents by having it named to whatever agent that you want and giving the description of whatever agent what you want to do. In this case, you haven't configured an LLM, so I'm going to input an API key, set it up so that we can move forward with this example. So now that I have enabled my OpenAI API key, you're able to configure it over here on this tab. Another thing is, is that you're able to click on this uh, button over here on the bottom left, which is the user settings. You're able to input different API keys over here. Uh, in this case, you're able to use the following API key to connect to super agent with the rest API or your SDK. Uh, you can configure the different types of appearances, which you have the light mode and the dark mode over here. Now, if you click on this, you have the web browsing feature with super agent in which you're able to have this agent source through different APIs in which you can connect here. Uh, if you want a new API, you can connect different APIs, third party APIs or tools, different plugins over here. Now, if you click on this, this is the data source and this is where you can upload different data sets, different incorporate different types of files, whether it's from your local files from GitHub, different apps, which is going to be coming soon. You're able to have a cloud storage service, which you can input from different types of storages such as google drive dropbox and many others you're able to also do this with vector storages such as uh what's one of them i forgot sapa base sorry that's one of them uh and you're also able to incorporate from pinecone and that's really really unique as it gives you an easy way for you to incorporate the these different types of data sources over here you have your workflow which is going to be coming soon in which you can drag and drop and to edit and create certain types of different agents now if you click on this play button over here you're able to create these agents you can name it whatever you want so i created this description this agent will help answer customers and client questions related to world of ai youtube channel you're able to create this agent it'll take a couple of minutes or a second sorry and once it has done this you're able to see that it has created this chatbot over here you're able to give it a prompt as to how it can respond you're able to select the model in this case we have gpt 3.5 turbo as well as gpt 4. you're able to select different apis in which you can incorporate uh, select the data source that you want and then you're able to update this in this case you're able to export this later on and share it to different endpoints and embed it into different workflows this is one sort of chatbot agent in which you can create uh, they have different workflows that's going to be coming out so that it gives you a versatility in creating different types of AI agents. But that's basically a gist of what I wanted to showcase with Super Agent as this is quite an amazing tool that can help you create very powerful different types of AI assistants, different autonomous AI agents, and it could be a framework for various different types of large language models. Lastly, I want to just showcase what people have actually done. They have created a legal document analyzer in which they use this AI assistant that can process legal documents, contracts, and regulations to provide insights, identify potential issues, and so much more. You have a customer support chatbot, which is something that I was trying to replicate. You have an educational content generator someone was able to create an automated sales assistant bot code review and assistant which is very very cool i want to see if people are able to use the vision as well as the different types of tools that they mentioned on their twitter page in which that can in which it can give agents vision as well as the ability to use these different types of apis to create 
various different types of agents and obviously they were able to do the most basic one which was a travel planner and a recommender which many different types of people are able to do with various different lms but that's basically the gist of today's video guys i hope you enjoyed it and you got some sort of value throughout this video this is very very useful and i'll leave all the links in the description below so that you can access it fairly easily but that's basically it for today's video make sure you check out world of ai to access our private discord as well as get gain various different types of different features that are associated with it make sure you follow world of ai on twitter if you guys haven't already and lastly make sure you subscribe turn notification bell like this video and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest ai news but that's basically it for today's video have an amazing day spread positivity and i'll see you guys fairly shortly peace out fellas